perfect. Got about a cup left, so one more, one more lot to do. Okay, cup of, cup of acid. There's a bucket. and clean them up so there will be another another day. Oh, this one, this is one here that my wife found. We found this little nice little points. That's probably that was probably I'd consider the best find. Even though you just found it. It's the best find. Thank you. So the first step of prepping these stones for acid is to soak them in granola, get rid of any of the organic material that's on them. So we've got put them in the buckets here. So it's about about three cups of granola to to a bucket. So we'll see how that goes. Leave them soaking for a few days. Give them a scrub up. And then we'll put them in the acid. Okay. There we go, we've got oxalic acid. Got about a cup left, so one more one more lot to do. So cup of cup of acid to the bucket. Seems to work quite nicely. So it's a little bit wet this morning. So we've got the rocks here actually in the acid at the moment. So we've got the old steriliser unit heating up. So just keep it at a constant temperature. So oh, well, the water is starting to look white so that's pretty cool. Been in a couple of hours. So we'll see what it looks like in another couple of hours. So now I'm gonna go off and drill some holes and pendants. Yep. Lovely, lovely morning out here, about 15 degrees. Pretty excited actually because um Sometimes. Pretty excited this morning because I've had that, uh, those crystals in the acid. So we're going to have a go have a look and see how they've turned out overnight. Don't want to leave them in for too long. I don't want to ruin them. If you, I don't know. Can you leave rocks in acid for too long? I suppose you can leave rocks in. I'm, I think crystals should be alright. So we'll go have a look, eh? See what they look like. Now here's our steriliser unit. We'll have a look and see what. Oh, they don't look too bad, eh? I'll go get my gloves and I'll. We'll go pull that out. Have a little bit of a look at them. So apparently it's not recommended to. Uh, to breathe the vapours 
of the acid. So not only do I have my rubber gloves, I'll also put on my mask as well to cut down on some of those fumes. So we'll pull them out, have a look, and we'll go from there. Now it looks like for some reason the uh, the phone switched off, so we've got all the, the stuff out of the acid now. So the tin foil that's in here, apparently that stops the rocks from going yellow. Because if you've ever tried doing it and your rocks go yellow, throw some screwed up tin foil in or tin foil plate. So that's that's the stones out. So what we'll do is we'll rinse them down and we'll have a little bit of a look at them. I've um, put in some stuff from one of my other trips up the gold mine as well. There's some amethyst and stuff in there. So we'll go and have a look at that lot. No. I've rinsed that out a couple of times now. So, from what I read, is you need to have it um, soaking in water for three times as long as what you had it soaking in the acid. So, like I said, we had some stuff in here from a previous trip. So it's got a little bit of amethyst. And there, some pseudomorph. So if the crystals do, and the rocks do have colour, I won't take the colour out of them. See those too good or not. Now, now here's another bit of another bit of amethyst in the in the seam there. What I'm going to do is um, get the big bit out that's in the bottom, if I can. We've got so much little stuff I'll put in here. Oh, this said, um, quartz plate that we found earlier so we'll compare that so if you look up probably up in the corner over here I'll chuck it up over here what it looked like when it started a bit of the andesite. I just chucked that in to see what it would look like. This 
I mean, if I'm gonna show you something, I should really put it on the top first thing. It's like something big down there. Yeah, that's what I'm after. So, if you remember this one, put it out here on the concrete. If you remember that one, that's what the other half is. That's cleaned up alrighty. Eh? This is the one that I was gonna gonna slice through and see if we can bring a polished face up on it. Thought it is, I'll chuck that one in and this big one back in the acid. Leave that for today. And see what it looks like later. And these here you can see the water's still the water's getting murky. So that'll need to do it another change. Well, come back later. Now we've got them sitting over here. So we've got the baking soda. So it must be pretty dilute the acid. So it's had about four rinses so far. So I'll just leave that. Oh, you can see some little see bubbles coming up. So that'll we'll leave that taking. And dilute, get rid of the acid. So it'll be safe to handle. This is out of the uh, acid. Hidden in these pockets. 